What's up, you wonderful people? Wondrous Landon here, back here with another reaction video. This time I'm going to switch it up a bit. I'm not going to react to a YTP. Don't worry, that's not meaning I'm going to stop watching YTPs. Just, I wanted to switch it up. I saw some uh, Skyrim memes in my feed, like what, and one of the ones that I found kind of funny, the meme of when Delphine asks you to kill Parthenax, and I thought, ooh, how funny would it be if I try to react to a compilation of it and i looked up a uh, you know when delphine asked you to kill parthenax compilation and i could not find a playlist anywhere so what i did i actually did a add to you kind of thing um i i think i added five or six uh small little videos in this queue but i wanted to react to all of them uh give you guys my raw reactions um i think two of these i've seen before i will let you know if i've seen them um or if i remember i've seen them I will hope I'll I'll definitely try to keep them in one order, and I'm gonna tr link every one of the original videos in the description. But without further ado, let's get started. There's one more thing we know about Parthenax. Mm -hmm. You better know about Parthenax. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. That line always bothered me because it's it's such a snotty right and of Alduin. snotty thing he to say. Atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He oh, you mean like how mankind has done atrocities in Tamriel? To you to kill him. I swear you would be of more use to me if I skinned you and turned your skin into a lampshade, or fashioned you into a piece of high-end luggage. I can even add you to my collection. Are you saying that you have a collection Her face. of skin luggage? Of course I'm not, Dee. Don't be ridiculous. Think of the smell. You haven't thought of the smell, you bitch! <laughs> now you say another word, and I swear to God, I will dice you into a million little pieces and put those pieces in a box, a glass box, mm -hmm. that I will display on my mantle. <laughs> All right. Now that that's settled, we can have a normal conversation. Okay. So that one, I, I have seen that one before, um, but I had to start off the list with uh, a pretty good one. That one, the, the Dennis memes, they always make me laugh. And I found another one and I added it to the queue. I think it's the fourth one in line. But uh, this one, I know I haven't seen. Uh, after refusing to kill Parthenax for Delphine. My oath binds me, Dragonborn. Until Parthenax is dead, you aren't welcome here. What? Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. But you can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Max, please. You're out, Norman. <laughs> You're out, Dragonborn. Oh, man. Oh, am I? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> I love how it, when he watched the Spider-Man, I love the original Raimi trilogy. But what's funny about that scene is no one looked at Willem Dafoe's face, like, of Norman Osborn's face in that moment, and was like, "Dude, are you okay? I think something's happening. He's he's gonna probably do something." <laughs> All right, now this one's telling Delphine why you won't kill Parthenax, and it looks like it's a Saul Goodman meme. You're sorry. You killed my brother, and you say you're sorry. You took something from the job offer. It didn't upset me. It amused me. <laughs> Big job. And I get to work in a dingy cave hiding from the Thalmor that are trying to kill me. Dragon you have board. no idea what's going on. You're a teensy tiny man in a teensy weensy little bubble. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, don't you fucking old Jimmy me. You <laughs> look down on me, you pity me. <laughs> walk She's away. trying to That's walk away. Right, Howard. You know why I didn't take the job? Because it's too small. I don't care about it. It's nothing to me. It's a bacterium. I travel in worlds you can't even imagine. You can't conceive of what I'm capable of. I'm like a god in human clothing. Lightning bolts shoot from my fingertips. Speech increased down here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
that one i'm pretty sure i've seen that one before um it's still pretty funny <laughs> i always like Saul goodman and his memes uh talking to the crazy beards about delphine and parthenax and skyrim now you see why i've warned you against them Bloodthirsty barbarians. They have no respect for anybody. Okay, they're like they're like stupid little goddamn they're savages. Bitches, bitches, I mean, I came in bitches. there right, and I was polite, and I was nice to them. Yeah. I was cordial, <laughs> and they completely goddamn disrespected yeah. me. Little idiots, idiots! No, I was completely it. disrespectful. They're supposed to be my brothers, right? They're my brothers? No, no, that's not fun. What they were doing wasn't fun. They come no. zapping us and zapping no, us. No, idiots, zap, zap, savages, zap, idiots, zap. idiots! Kinnereth has placed the voice of wisdom within you. <laughs> All you need to do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. They, they dis- <laughs> I am a legend over there. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Also, you should keep in mind that Delphine is what many of us in the Greybeards refer to as a raging bitch. <laughs> that's pretty good. I've seen this guy's face a lot. So, uh, the magic head, zero one, uh, zero 08. I think he's ones that makes uh, a lot I've of I've contained so. my rage for as long as possible, but I should Another unleash dentist. my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves. Be gone, vile man. Be gone from me. A starter car. This car is a finisher car. A transporter of gods. The golden god. I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds. It's <laughs> pretty good. All right, so that does it with the uh, reactions. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a bit about my responses with them. I've always found that that dilemma, the Parthenax dilemma in Skyrim, was always dumb to me, but it's like Bethesda writing. I mean, it's it's kind of par for the course at this point, isn't it? You You go for really liking a character or liking a plot or liking a storyline and then there's always an npc who comes around and just muddles it up with some stupid sense of like pride or or self-righteousness or um some ideal you know they're like too like they think that oh because something is somebody did something bad one way you know a while ago that's on you and it's funny too the the more you actually think about it too there's no person that I can really think of. Unless, I mean, if you obviously as a joke or as a challenge play Skyrim or Fallout or all these other Bethesda games or even op- like all these other role playing games, there's no person that I can tro- like I can think of who legitimately has 100 percent a good character. Right. As far as if we're talking about the moral high grounds of, you know, do not kill, do not steal. Do not. Um, there, there's even other morals that people break all the time. Even I, you know, do it all the time. You know, and people can say, you know, you have justifications in the gray area of, you know, oh, it's self defense. Oh, it's, you know, I didn't want to die. You know, that's fair, but that still doesn't mean that, you know, you didn't kill someone, right? Or you didn't do something that uh, would would some would argue is a immoral or wrong to do and i always found in parthenax it was one of those characters it's kind of like the duality of your existence a, a very great uh philosophical character very great at making you really delve into the realm of asking are the all dragons going to be evil are we evil what what is the difference between what I want to do is evil or, you know, trying to play the game in a good way. And, and it's funny too, that, that moment, that line he says, uh, it really speaks on it. And that is, I'm going to misquote it. Trust me. Uh, but the line is something along the lines of what is, what is better to be born good or to, be bored evil, but to overcome your evil nature through great effort. Um, and I always found that part to be kind of, that should reach out to the player a little bit more because that's kind of like, it's almost a meta thing, right? He's, he's talking about, you know, how many times in Skyrim you could have killed someone and you didn't, 
right? Well, I mean, maybe you did, but like, like you don't go around every town, you know, in a, and I'm talking about in a normal playthrough when you're actually playing the game, trying to play the story and whatnot. You don't go through every town trying to just mess everything up and cause mayhem. You do in certain playthroughs uh, and when you're trying to just have fun, but legitimately when you're just trying to play the game and have the goals in your mind, yeah, you don't just go around and do all these terrible things. You know, you have these these uh, these goals. So the Parthenex dilemma always bothered me. I always chose him over the blades. I their armor is eh. It's it never like yeah, sir. It was like okay, cool. It's samurai esque, but that when you play all the DLCs, you get to a point where that armor doesn't even like matter. It doesn't even do anything for you um and of course to me it's it, i've always been about the role-playing aspect in these games you're right yeah i mean you know so it's i don't know the delphine delphine's w- reasoning for it was so stupid to me you know and it might uh, well, another aspect of it too is like you you want to you don't want to trust parthenax but the person you're supposed to protect and f- not even protect but take their orders which is the dragonborn trusts parthenax and you're not trusting the dragonborn. And not even then, even if, let's say you go along with it and you're afraid that one time, one of these, it's, oh, Parthenax is going to turn. You have the dragonborn. How many hundreds, thousands of dragons the dragonborn has fell? It's, it's crazy to me. But anyway, uh, these, were, these videos were pretty funny. I uh, I like this this type of uh, comedy. It is interesting. It, I'd like to see a little bit more. Like I said, I'm surprised that there wasn't already like a compilation video on this type of subject. But uh, maybe one day, you know, when it gets bigger, maybe I'll make it. Who knows? Uh, anyway, with that, I hope you guys are having a great day and keep enjoying. Have a great day, and as always, stay weird. Till next time.